Hello, welcome to Studio Pixel. In this tutorial, we're going to discuss how to bake a texture in 3ds Max. Now, first of all, uh, I'd like to tell you what is a bake texturing is. I have just uh, created a very simple scene, a scene setup where I put a, uh, a plane, a teapot, and two lights. One spotlight and one is uh, omni light. Now, if you hit render, now you can see the the effects of the light is actually happening on the on the textures and the object. Now, I want something that uh, uh, this effect of this light, like putting in shadow and creating the shades and uh, the uh, you know the uh, the the light darkness is over all, all over here, which has been actually created. Uh, by the omni light as a fill light and i want this uh, effect to be put into the texture itself i don't want to use any lights this a uh, technique this baking technique is very very important for for the gamings because uh you, you don't want to use uh, a real time uh, not not every time that you like to use this uh, uh use the lights uh, in the real time calculation in games Though there are lots of game engines which support the real-time lighting and everything, but still, uh, this is a very effective one, a very effective, uh, you know, uh, technique to to use this in the games. So let's see how we can do that. Okay. So uh, close this. Now for baking, uh, use baking. You select all the objects that you have you want to bake the textures. Go to rendering. And say render to texture. Okay, now uh, as you can see, I've already selected my objects. That uh, objects has been already been you know put into the uh, list. Now move back and just have use them. Uh, this will be the situation that uh, you you will see that. Uh, you have your object has been placed and in the output section you will see the blank list now for this thing for uh, you know baking this particular effect I want I have already you know put to material or to texture onto that object and I want my baked material or the baked texture to be come into the diffuse map so for for that I need to click on the add button and from the list for the from the available uh, elements you select that diffuse map option and say add element now by default the diffuse map size is a 256 into 256 you can increase this by 512 or maybe 1024 with 1024 that's up to you now this is a very important one now <clears throat> as I wanted to bake not only my texture but also my lights and shadows you have to switch on these two options also good now I want my baked material uh, in which position if wherever I want to I just wanted to make it save uh, the uh, option or I want to you know apply simultaneously onto the source so right now I have uh, selected that as output into source so this is very important one that because you want to bake material onto that in, into your object now it's good fine so after that this is a very interesting one and also very important that where you want to you know uh, put this uh, material and how you want to look like at the rendering now i don't only want to view the back material i also want it to into into the render so i select this option to render this is a very important one because uh, if you uh, at the end of the day that if you hit render you won't see the uh, back material rather than uh, seeing that original material so you have to convert this to a render option so and you have to do it for each and every object uh, select the plane also and uh, select uh, back material on to render also fine now uh, by selecting these two okay everything is all right uh, the diffuse map two objects selected now oh, fantastic so output into source cool now if you can hit uh, now you can hit render uh, flattening evs i have already had that before so that's why it's asking me for the override files yes i have to override files so first of all this plane is gone 
you can see that the image is actually consisting of the shadows which is actually baked on so now the at the teapot one you can see the teapot's top lead has been also getting the shadows uh, you know calculated so that's it now what you if you select these two lights and hit delete and if you hit render you can see even after I have deleted my lights the effect of the lights is coming and the most interestingly if I delete my teapot and hit render oops sorry wrong default and now you can see the exactly effect of this particular uh, you know option is called render to texture that even if my if I deleted my uh, teapot the effect the shadow of that particular teapot is still coming onto that particular plane so this is how uh, we actually bake the texture into into a you know bake the light and shadow information into into that particular into into a object so this is really interesting because if I even rotate my you know uh, viewport and if I hit render you can still you can see the effect of the light and the shadows so this is uh, something really really important and interesting for for the for the artist uh, we're working on the uh, on the on the games especially so uh, hope you enjoy this and thank you very much uh, to join us and please uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel and also follow us on the Twitter page we have recently shifted to a different uh, you know uh, a different uh, server so you might uh, lose the uh, you know old links and all but don't worry everything is there and you can search it on on the on, the, on our YouTube uh, channel you can find the videos so thank you very much and goodbye